This is Chris, the Idaho Painter, here on Home Improvement How To's, and I'm here with John today, and we've got something uh, pretty interesting, and you'll see it all over uh, YouTube, and I know I've seen it all over YouTube, and um, because it's an ad. It's an ad about the AccuBrush, and we have one now. And so after- We are the proud new owners of an AccuBrush. The proud new owners, we paid $39.95 for this kit, and uh, with our very own money. And so we are gonna give this thing a legitimate test and let you know what we think. Here it is, um, and we haven't even tried it yet. We're gonna be testing it out, and we wanted to unpackage it right in front of you guys so you can see, and we're gonna tell you what we think of it right now, just unpackaging it. It just came in the mail, so we're really excited. And it came, the kit came, it looks like there's, um, we've got some rollers um, here. The yellow stripe. And it's kind of interesting because it has its own little um, uh, in plugs in, in there. I'm not sure how you would, because our rollers, we get paint in the insides of your rollers. It always happens. I'm not sure how you would clean that out. Maybe Do, you don't. Maybe you um, have to throw them away when you're done. Maybe they're one-used rollers. Um, mm. That would be a little bit, because it has these little four little holes inside there, so we typically clean them out with a hose, and I don't know how you can get water and spray water in there. So that's, yeah. um, that's the first thing we just noticed right there, but we don't know. I mean, it may clean out easy, but that's kind of... I'm um, here. That's John. Ooh, I got a mini, brush just for you. Mini brushes. These are the little mini brushes, and they're called the Acu Brush. And this is the little brush. If you've watched their video, I don't know. I don't know how you couldn't watch their video because their ads were just constantly coming up every single time I would look at a YouTube right, video. Something to do with a YouTube channel that does painting or? Yeah. Um. The guys. Is there one of those? He's out there? from Idaho, huh. I think. Yeah. Yeah. And um. Yeah. It's kind of. I, I do have to say, the ad got very, very annoying to me, and because um, it just coming up and coming up and coming up, it would just, I mean, it was just incredible. I eventually just blocked the ad. You can block ads. I don't know if you know that or not. Yeah. Pro um, tip. Yeah, pro tip. And we will teach you how to block an ad at, at the end of this video, so stay tuned if you want to learn how to block specific ads. So, John, um, just look at the roller. We noticed, you know, the inside. I get, you have a little AccuBrush. You can. Why don't you open up your little AccuBrush and tell me what you think of the bristles? You see, it comes. Um, the plastic. Don't need the plastic for anything. But I'll, I'll, John's going to open up AccuBrush. I got one. Whoa! Um, is it pretty smooth? Pretty fine? No. Well, kind of. It's um, like a toothbrush. Whoa! That is stiff. <laughs> That's. That's about the, the stiffest paintbrush I've ever felt in my life. But the bristles look, I mean, look at them. They're pretty dang straight. I mean, I gotta say. They are pretty straight. They are pretty straight. Those are straight bristles. It's made out of plastic. I wouldn't, this is not industrial plastic by any means. Mm -mm. Um, so this, these little things, these are called the AccuBrush. Um, I'm not sure if this is called the Accu Roller, but um, what do you what do you think of the roller, the filaments on the rollers, if that's what you call them. Do you call them filaments or fuzz or whatever? The nap? Yeah, it's well, it's falling out, which is a good start. It does kind of have uh, some. Oh yeah, there's some snowing inside. Uh, it's hopefully, you Christmas. can um, watch. We'll just pick it. You can see all the lint. So that's a very, very low quality roller right there. Yeah, I mean, you can see the weave. It, it almost looks like yarn that they put on it, the way it's like yeah. woven and twisted together. And so what, what's gonna happen, and, um, and we could help you how to resolve it so it won't happen, but as soon as you start painting, it's just gonna leave those lints all over the wall. If you have a smooth wall, like a level five finish or something, it's gonna be an absolute disaster. So what we would do if, um, but I don't know if you can do that with this little gizmo, we would take an, um, our hose and our um, nozzle and we would spray it in our five gallon bucket like we do when we clean rollers. But don't clean rollers like us because people don't like how we clean rollers. So don't do what we do. But um, just, just, um, and it'll spin and it'll get all those, those, um, most of the majority of the loose fuzz is out. We're not so. real painters. We just play one on TV. <laughs> just, or play one on YouTube or right. something like that. YouTube. Um, so here, John, let, op, um, try to open that without destroying all the paperwork on it because um, we might have to return it. <laughs> we might ask for our money back. Um, I'm not sure if they will give us our money back though, but you never know. It may get good. We are going to give this thing a legitimate try, but my first impression, even like, um, the, the plastic on this thing, it, it looks like about, you know, an extremely low quality plastic. Let me see, if, um, you know, if this thing is, yeah, it's, um, it's, that's pretty tough. I mean, I can't break it. 
So, I mean, it's holding out to, oh my, let me, I'll, I'll stomp on it real fast. Yeah. Oh, geez. So, um, <laughs> maybe that's how you clean it. You just step on it and these little gizmos pop out. Okay. And then there were three. So, yeah, so that one's ruined. So, but that's not gonna actually happen, you know, um, unless you were getting off your ladder and you stepped on it or something like that. So that's not fair to the AccuRoller. Um, yeah, interesting. I don't know what I've done here. So John's, he's installed his little AccuBrush and I can see, Ooh, whoa, look at that. Look at that, it's, So um, we wanna be careful because we don't wanna break this before yeah, we start using it. And this is the newest technology. It did. They did say it was the newest technology, and they did say that um, on their video that it will make you paint better or something like, like a as, pro. As good as a professional painter. As good as a professional painter. So that means for all the do it yourselfers out there that, oh. A DVD! <laughs> Dude, that's like crazy. Do you people use these anymore? Movie night. But that's like so many. I've never, that's like popcorn. Microscopic. It comes with a DVD. Um, I don't know why you just go on YouTube and you can see, um, but that's kind of interesting. It comes, if you got, if, if you got a DVD player and we got one right here, so we'll watch it and we'll tell you what's on there. Um, well, John's reading the instructions, you know, just looking at it, um, it's, man, it's not built. It's, this is really low quality plastic. Um, the, there's got, it's got little rollers on it, which, um, you know, helps it glide up and down, but there's no bearings on the rollers. Um, so I'm not sure how well those rollers will roll. Aren't and, you um, just gonna roll into your paint that you just put on? That's interesting. Or like, I think you'll probably, cause, oh, that's a good um, good point, John. He brought up rolling this into your paint. It comes with its own little pan, but, but not we didn't get the pan because we didn't pay enough. Because if you want the pan, it's like, I, I think it's like 125 to $145. It's a $90 and, pan. Yeah, and so I couldn't justify um, getting the pan too. So, but I think if you rolled it like this, you can keep the rollers out so you can fill it like that, mm -hmm. fill it, and then, then you'll Don't roll. Don't forget you gotta move your guard away before you fill. Oh, so yeah, yeah you gotta move There's your guard. instructions, this is a whole process. So John is checking out the instructions while I'm trying to, um, if I, and this is just my first impression, we'll put it to the test after we've used it. Um, we will drop it off the ladder a few times and we'll see if it breaks. Cause my concern, this is, <laughs> really, I don't want to drop it right now cause it might break right now. So, um, it says, how would we test it? It has instructions on it. It says push down firmly. Mm -hmm. Um, so when you're rolling, you want to push down firmly. It says keep lever down for normal use. Push brush in firmly after moving yellow lever. So it's interesting. What? Um, oh, the le yellow lever just locks it into place or something. Mm -hmm. So it goes in. No, it doesn't do a whole lot. But it's fun. I don't know what the yellow lever does because it doesn't lock it in place. And the way this is supposed to work is the roller puts the paint on the wall and then your tiny little AccuBrush edger thing will take the paint that the roller puts down on the wall and guide that up against whatever you are cutting in against. And um, you know, I don't want to like um, you know, make fun of countries or anything like that, but it, it gives me the feel like it's made in China. I don't know, there's good things made in China, I think. I mean, aren't they, John? <laughs> yeah. So, but they, this is, did you put this in? I mean, the bristles are already bent. I mean, why are they bent? Oh, man. Now you need new bristles? Do they come bent like that or do they this bend? This one look pretty straight. Maybe it's because of the packaging. Yeah, maybe the packaging bent them. Those are already bent, so hopefully it will still work. Because I paid $39.95 for this. So, um, so what is it? It's this keep, keep lever down for normal use. Brush brush in firmly after moving yellow lever. For the life of me, I can't figure out well, what that means. Which way do you, I guess there's, we have instructions. We're gonna read the instructions. Read so instructions. We'll, we'll get on with this program this now. This is live. And, because this all stuff is live. So, so far, I mean, we've um, kind of, you know, as a professional painter, I know, John, like if we threw this thing in our van, how long do you think it would last in our vans? Now be honest. Um, I guess it depends where I put it. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I just don't see it holding up over London. a month. Yeah, yeah, we'll be generous. I, I will give it a month. 
I mean, we drop things all the time. We drop our, you know, um, our hand maskers. We drop, you know, our drills. We drop everything. We drop in. I'd be very, very concerned that this thing's gonna break. And it's not. It's not cheap. It's thirty nine ninety five. So um, it's got some instructions. Completely. It says completely saturate the roller. Keep the rear two wheels flat against the wall at all times. So it's these two wheels. Which um, if you get. And here's another thing. If you get any paint in these wheels at all. You're gonna to have to be extremely careful. We paint very, very fast and we're not the most careful painters because we're concerned about speed, getting the job done quickly. And so we do get paint on things. I'd be very concerned. If you get paint down these wheels, that's not gonna roll no See, more. but that's, that's my question is like, okay, you put this on the wall, right? And now aren't those wheels just gonna roll right into what you painted on the wall? Holy cow, John, you're right. Um, right, so you like, you what, cut and then you get paint all over yeah. the... Very interesting. And then you've got two little tracks going up. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. Maybe not. Well, this, um, Maybe there's magic involved. <laughs> well, this these this would um, this would roll into paint. This one's outside the roller if you just keep going straight up and down. So that won't get paint on it. Um, possibly, unless you you know I don't know. We'll we'll find because I saw where they like filled stuff in with it. So um, there you go. We'll take. How does this? Um, so just apparently like that. Uh, <laughs> so it kind of it has this little locking mechanism. Um, that thing is very, very weak. Just the very thin piece of plastic. If that thing breaks, um, AccuBrush is no good no more. Or AccuRoller, whatever. I guess if you're a do-it-yourselfer, you know, maybe that doesn't matter as much because you're just going to do whatever you're doing and then when's the next time you're going to be picking up your AccuBrush or AccuRoller and maybe it does get you by for that one deal, but... Um, yeah. We'll see, I guess. Yeah, so I mean, here I'm pushing it up and down, up and down. I mean, I, I think it can take quite a few pushes up and down, but I think if you drop it and it hits something, it could easily break. And that's the only thing that keeps that roller on. It just slides on and on, on and off like that. So, you know, now the next thing is how you clean it and stuff. That's going to be interesting to figure out how you clean it. I've been called. In theory, it should just do this. All right, so let's give her a try, John. Load that thing up. Hopefully it doesn't leave lints all over the wall. So I think you're supposed to load it up out in the wall without the little edging system. Flip that thing up maybe. Flip it out. Now now load your roller up. Like load like it and, and then put it on the wall. and Roll it out. And roll it out. Yeah, see, okay. look at you go. You're now, learning. Flip that in, right? Yep. And let the magic begin. Look at that. Now from here, it looks good to me, but what does it look up closer, John? You know, I've seen worse lines. <laughs> I have seen worse. <laughs> Okay, let's take let's get a closer look. We're gonna try some more here too. So what do you think there? You know, it made a line. It's actually not a bad line. <laughs> wow. It's um. Gosh, I don't know. Don't tell me you're going to start stocking your vans with them. Everybody gets an AccuBrush now. You get an AccuBrush. Okay, let's you try it in a different right. situation. So here we go. We got another scenario. We've got a window right here and we got a door jam. Um, one's a little bit heavier textured, one's lighter texture. And don't try this at home. This is my brand new couch that I'm painting <laughs> over without a drop cloth. This is my house, so that's why I can get away with it. So I'm gonna load up my little Accu brush, and my wife will absolutely kill me if I drip some paint on there. So the, I gotta set this pan down. Here, I'll just set it down right there, and I'll um, stand on my couch, and I'll just kind of do the initial load up. Now, here we go. And the, I don't know if the video camera can see it, but it leaves a little wheel mark. 
that goes up and down right there. Probably really difficult for it to see. Bam, back in focus. Um, gonna load it up, because it doesn't set in here very easily, so you gotta be very careful. And it's, got, it's getting not too much paint all over inside there uh, so far. The wheels are still just, just paint on the wheels, not, nothing up inside where you know it locks in place. So here we'll give it a try here. We'll um, unload our roller or you know just kind of they tell you to load it on the wall. Now we'll okay we'll do it the whole eight feet around eight feet we'll see what happens. That's probably not even eight feet and it's, um, I think it's kind of way out of paint already. Um, I'm looking at the line. Let me see if I can get it any straighter over here. I'll run it a few more times. There you go. Hopefully the video can see, you know, how it looked. Okay, looks like you got a ceiling. We yeah. have a ceiling. Roll off the initial, snap your piece in place. So what about your concerns about the wheels? The yeah. wheels do get paint on them. The wheels do get paint on them. But it's not getting all over the little machine. It's not. It's not. It's um... And you're not getting the turquoise See, paint on your ceiling, are you? I, I'm not getting any on the ceiling. I'm not sure what I'll, you know, obviously you gotta do something with that. It looks like it's staying about like a sixteenth or an eighth inch away from the ceiling. Yeah, it's not bringing it all the way up, so you'll have that little kind of white line going across. But again, I, I mean, I guess it's all relative. If you, you know, we maybe that line is good enough. We typically carry our cut-in, ceiling cut-ins, all the way up to the ceiling or slightly onto the ceiling. Yeah. How's the coverage? Up. How's the roller? Is it covering very well? Well, you know, it claims that it will go eight feet. I'm a little skeptical about the eight feet because I feel like I ran out there and that's about three. Uh this is the emergency broadcast system. And here we're gonna show you how to get rid of those annoying video ads. So I'm gonna bring up YouTube. Got YouTube right here and there is an ad that's come up right here in front of this video. On the left side of the ad, it's gonna have this little box that says skip this ad. On the right side of the video, it has the word ad and then the minutes, how long the ad is. There's this little tiny circle with like a, um, an exclamation point in it, I believe is what it looks like. If you just click on that little circle, it's gonna bring up this little white drop down menu and it says you got some options here you got stop seeing this ad you have why am i seeing this ad control your google ads you can go control all your ads and what you see and don't see and then you have cancel but i'm just going to hit stop seeing this ad and then another little box is going to pop up this little white box says are are you sure you want to stop seeing this ad i'm going to click yes and then another little box comes up and it says if gone if gone, what was wrong with this ad? And it says right there, and I got three options. Inappropriate, repetitive, irrelevant. And I'll just say irrelevant, and I'll hit send, and it's gone, just like that. And I'll never see that ad again. Okay, here we go again. We have our brush, a new brush put on there because the other one came bent. So um, here we go. We unload it. Um, that didn't work so well right there. Um, yes. So leaving little wheel marks all over here. Let's um, we'll walk over to this window. One of the things, um, 
as you can see, I can't get any closer because I have to raise this. Um, well, I just got paint there. So you can't get, this is all gonna have to be done by hand. And this is, I can get that close right there. I can't do anything there, can't do anything there. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, here, here's, this looks really straight right here and smooth. Let's give it a try right here. It's supposed to. We have the ultimate scenario. We have a smooth wall with a smooth edge for trim for our smooth AccuBrush roller. Uh, I think this is more like brush. the scenario in their video where they have a smooth wall and mm -hmm. a really just completely perfect 90 degree corner. So let's see how it performs now. All right, so we're gonna bring that in a little. We're gonna roll off just a little. Bring our guide in and let the magic begin. So what do you think there, John? I think that there is, in fact, a line there. Um, <laughs> okay. It um, put some paint on and it made a line. Okay, realistically, a couple of things. One, what are you gonna do with the track mark going all the way up there from the wheel? Um, what are you gonna do when you get up to that edge right there and it no longer is smooth and now you've got to, I don't know what, be funky against it. And now, my, I think my other concern is with this high of a pile, you're gonna leave stippling all over your smooth wall. So even if you do have the ideal circumstances to get the best possible line, now you're just gonna jack your wall up because it's no longer gonna be a nice smooth finish. It's gonna be um, stippled from your roller because you're using a 3 8 inch roller here when you should be using a quarter inch or maybe even less. Uh, good point there, John. <sighs> Sometimes I have those. Do they? AccuBrush. I think, um, uh, I, I keep that, is it AccuBrush or AccuRoll? I think it's AccuBrush, the whole device. And I think we've used it long enough to come up, you know, with our own conclusions, whether we like it, whether we keep it in our vehicle or not. And, um, I guess we can start off by saying the good things about it. I, that would be the best because we don't want to be negative. We want to say good things. And yeah. so um, what is a good thing about this thing, John? I like the color. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that would be a <laughs> way to come up with something. Um, um, so let me think. I, uh, let me, um, that's a good one. Um, I think probably what you and I had discussed was that there is probably a portion of the population that... I think, okay, that's exactly, so that's what I like about it, is there is, there is some people that might use this thing and might like it. So, and I think we, we talked about it and discussed it, and, you know, I, I personally think maybe 5%, 10% of do-it-yourself painters would be accept, um, would be would accept the edge that it leaves, that the line that it leaves and in all the situations we painted with it. So let's talk about the edge that it left. I mean, what were some of the issues with the quality of the edge? A couple of the issues. Um, one, the, the wheels leave little track marks. Um, two, if your conditions are not ideal or perfect, it's not going to give you even what I would consider decent results. So if you look on like their examples, it's like brand new trim that they, I don't think it's even been nailed in, it's just clamped on onto a perfectly smooth wall. And, and when we did test this on a perfectly smooth wall against perfectly straight prep trim, uh, it did leave a decent result. But the moment you start trying to do a ceiling cut in where your ceiling's rough at all, or if your trim's got any imperfections, um, it's just not, yeah. not pretty. I know, um, to me, as a professional painter, both of us, John and I, longtime professional painters, I definitely um, say this is not a device for a professional painter. A professional painter should not be using this device. Um, I think like all, we used it on some chair railing, we used it on door jam, window, trim, we used it on baseboard, we did it on a ceiling up here, and then we did it on a smooth wall door jam. In all cases where we used it and gave it a legitimate effort, is me as a painter, I wouldn't accept that as a line or a cut-in. I would have to go redo it. And one thing is, is 
you know, even those the little wheel marks um, on the ceiling up here, it left that wheel mark you can see really good because the wall is white. You're gonna still have to go back with the brush and cut that in. Mm -hmm. So I think, I mean, to us, you'd have to go back and cut that in. And um, so, you know, it's, uh, uh, we'll have to drop the dice a few times and see if it breaks because they do have a warranty, you noticed. They do have That's a warranty a that covers defects in workmanship of the device. I don't oh. think that covers if you drop it off a ladder. I guess so. Sorry, the war that or wouldn't. on purpose <laughs> from, your, from your lift. <laughs> so that wouldn't. Um, then there are some little things about it. Uh, you don't. If it sits out for how long, mm -hmm. you got to put the whole thing in water. Right yeah, now. so they recommend that if it's going to sit out longer than 15 minutes that you remove the brush and you put it all into some water, um, which is fine. <laughs> I mean, the, the problem is, is I mean, one, how do you clean this out and get everything out from the inside there? And even if you soak it so that you can reuse it, now you're going to be pulling the Titanic out from under the ocean and there's water everywhere. Like it just... Yeah, because like, like John says, this thing right here, when this thing goes into water, this whole thing's going to fill up with water. When you lift it out of the water, it's going to come shooting out these little holes and spill out like the Niagara Falls, you know, for a certain period of time. Well, yeah, and, and like, how are you going to get it all out of there? And that so just ain't going to happen. Have water, yeah, just... It's just you just, to me, I think you're just going to, these are just, I mean, they really are throwaway rollers. These are not high quality rollers by any means. So to me, they're gonna be one use. You're gonna use them that day, and then you're just gonna throw them, throw them away. Then I would not even come close to wasting my time to try cleaning those things out. Which means if you're working on a project and you buy the, the $39, $30, $39 pack mm -hmm. that we bought, you get five, five, you get five rollers, and then after that, you've gotta go order more specialty rollers, and we haven't looked at how much those are, or if you even can buy them, or if right. you just have to buy another $40 kit. It did, they did claim that it would go eight feet. We tested that, what happened? Not so much. And I don't even buy the thing about it, maybe just using a different product would help. I just don't think. I think it, I, went, I think we were pushing the limits about four feet, weren't we? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Yeah, and four feet, we're still gonna have to go back over and re-roll everything and cut it back in. So um, these things won't be stocked in our vehicles. Mm -hmm. We won't be using them. Um, um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Other than, well, uh, how many stars do you give it, John? People might want to know that. Since Amazon is oh, two stars. Oh, goodness. I just... Because I'm going to go rate it because oh, yeah, I so, bought it. So here, here's the deal. I, I think that we have some videos that can teach you how to cut a ceiling in and cut trim in that are going to be way better, they're going to be cheaper for you in the long run, and I think they're going to be faster, and then you don't have to listen to the plastic grate against the wall while you're... It's pretty painful listening to the plastic grind it's on the It's like wall. somebody dragging nails against a chalkboard. And it's like, it's like scratching stuff. So, I mean, John's got a really good point. I mean, you have to have a paintbrush anyways when you're using this device. With the paintbrush that you have and the bucket of paint that you're using, because this isn't going to cover everything, we can teach you how to get better paint lines, straighter lines with just your paintbrush and even our caulking using frog tape and clear caulking methods. Amazing. We got multiple videos out there. Mm -hmm. I think we have five videos how to cut in a ceiling line. So you got to go to check out those videos without even paying $39.95. Yeah, because then you, you can clean your roller out, you can reuse it again, you're going to keep using that same brush and clean it out. It me it's just you you can work with all the variables that every house and every place and every job has without um, dealing with yeah all that all that so for me I bought it I get to go on Amazon I get to review it I'm gonna give it a one-star review because I think there's that five percent of the population that would be you know, accept it and um, Hopefully, I don't get like sued for defamation of character. I mean, it helps me yeah, it's just an honest, honest review. It's yeah. just honest. So um, we really did give it a try. John gave it a try. Uh, if you bought it, I mean, what would you give it? How many stars? Did I ask you that? Probably not. Yeah, I just don't know if I would. I just don't know if I could recommend it. Like, it's just I think you know, there's way better ways. And there it is. You know, there is. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was long, but this thing they've spent, they had to spend millions in advertising for this campaign that's gone on for years because they got, I mean, 
like 10 million views, like compiled views of this, this device. So we, got, we gave our honest review. There you go. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please give us a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to our channel. We have a website, theidahopainter.com, and we're on social media, aren't we, John? We are on social media. Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest. Check out Pinterest. Yeah, we, we haven't checked out Pinterest. We don't say much about Pinterest, but we love Pinterest too. We do love Instagram, Pinterest. we got live shows on Instagram and Facebook. Always giving away really cool stuff, free stuff. We give away free stuff on our YouTube live show every Monday at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. And who knows, maybe you will soon be the owner of a lightly used Accu brush roller system soon. Good idea. <laughs> Hopefully we'll see you on our next video. Out.